Hey YouTube, this is a Crimson Comic. Uh, today, uh, this video is going to be a haul video. So these are all the books I picked up in the month of, month of March. Um, it's We've got some single issues, some trade paperbacks, some hardcovers. Um, but yeah, so these are all the books that throughout March I've picked up, um, whether from orders online or stores that I went to. Um, and uh, so yeah, without further ado, we'll jump right into them. So first up, uh, I'll do the single issues, um, some uh, back issue stuff, um, a lot of just random stuff uh, that I decided to get. First up, um, found this at a local store. This is from uh, Marvel, published under the Amalgam Comics, um, X Patrol. So it's an amalgamation of different characters from DC and... Uh, Marvel and um, this one was done by Marvel DC did a collection of their own um, I have the two uh, DC trade paperbacks that they released collecting all of their amalgam comics um, but Marvel's are really expensive so I'll probably never get the trade paperbacks but if I see the single issues I'll pick them up um, so that way I can read the stories um, this one was okay I'm not as familiar with uh, these characters especially on the marvel side um but i saw it and i was like holy heck it's a it's a marvel amalgam i gotta pick it up so um you can see here some of the characters that have been combined beastling that's uh beast and changeling um shatter starfire niles cable elastigirl pharaoh man um so you just have there's there's a few other characters in this um, I read it. It was okay. But like I said, wasn't as familiar with some of the characters that they were combining. So um, couldn't appreciate it as much. But yeah, love. I'm a sucker for, for uh, when Marvel and DC uh, work together and they uh, then crossovers between the companies and whatnot. So anything like that, I'm a sucker for and I'll probably pick up. But yeah, so there's that. And then these I randomly got. These next books I got from Half Price Books. Um, I just saw them and I, I like the covers. I, I don't really know anything about them, but I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. And they were a buck each, so it's nothing crazy. But it's Cyberspace 3000. And so I picked up issue one, two, and issue uh, four. So it's an eight issue series I looked up. And uh, so. I'll have to fill out the rest and then I can read it. Uh, it sounded intriguing and I thought the covers were cool looking. Um, and uh, really this cover is what got me at first. But when I pulled it out of the bin, because they, they don't have their all their comics bagged and boarded. Um, but when I pulled it out, I was like, oh dang, there's something on the cover here. Like somebody spilled something, it was like crusty. Um, but then I noticed there was some like in the corner and some other spots and then I realized it's actually glow in the dark. Um, it's like glow in the dark paint or ink that they have up here, 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 the eye. Um, so I was like, oh, okay. Well, at least it's not all dirty and gross like I thought it was. Like somebody got some boogers on there or something. But uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool though <laughs> and, and very, uh, very random. But uh, yeah, so we'll see. I'll, once I pick up the rest of the issues, which I'm sure I can get cheap. Um, I'll read the story and who knows if it's good but I did flip on the first page and the first line was making a reference to Star Trek so that's a plus in my opinion <laughs> uh, next up from DC I got this off of a, an app called Mercari it's Nolan Ryan in the winning pitch uh, is published by DC um, but uh, my, my name is Ryan my first name and I was actually named after Nolan Ryan um, I was also named after Michael Jordan. My middle name's Michael. And I'll tell you the story real quick. Uh, my parents let my brothers, I have two older brothers, um, my parents let them name me. And so my one brother wanted to name me Nolan Ryan, first name Nolan, middle name Ryan. And my other brother wanted to name me Michael Jordan, first name Michael, middle name Jordan. So my parents combined the, the names and uh, they got Ryan Michael. So I could have been Nolan Jordan uh, for all I know, but... Um, but yeah, so I saw this and thought this was cool, and since I was named after him, it was kind of a cool little thing for me. But uh, 
Yeah, so it was probably... I don't, I don't really know much about this, but it had something to do with um, Frosted Flakes uh, cereal. So there's probably, like, either came in a box of Frosted Flakes or, um, like, you could send away for it if you bought so many boxes or something. But I don't know. I thought that was cool, so I picked it up. It was pretty cheap um, on a app I used. So. Next up, um, these next few... Or, well... Yeah, there's a couple here that are from um, Midtown Comics I ordered online. Uh, this is Flash Comics number 22, or well, the Flash 22. Uh, this is one part of the button. I should have taken these stickers off um, up here so we could see the cover. Yeah, I'm not going to do that now. But uh, I had to pick this up. This is part of the button series, which I have um, the deluxe hardcover edition. Um, so I've read the whole thing, but see if I can get it to yeah there you go you can kind of see it's kind of an homage to the old Flash comics which I thought was awesome Jason Fabok did the cover um it's just lenticular and all that so but it's pretty cool it's got like the roll call on the side with the different um characters that were in the issue and yeah I thought that was awesome so I had to pick that up uh being a Jay Garrick Golden Age Flash fan um but yeah I can I mean I can't get enough of this cover. It's great. One of the coolest ones, I think, in my opinion, from uh the rebirth stuff. And next up from again from Midtown Comics, I got Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. Um I just recently read the uh showcase presents that collects like all the Captain Carrot issues. Um and I, I really enjoyed it for what it was it was like looney tunes meet superheroes and i grew up watching looney tunes cartoons so it was awesome it was right up my alley um and this one this cover has uh the terrific what's it which was a kind of like a parody uh to jay garrick the golden age flash um it was he was made in a comic um in the 40s by dc i think 1944 called funny stuff um, and it was like a, a funny animal comic and um, so and I like all things speedsters so I had to get the issue that had him on the cover um, this is like his for, first full appearance in Captain Carrot too uh, he was kind of cameoed in the previous issue I think if I remember correctly but uh, yeah since he was on the cover I was like ah oh, that's pretty cool I, I'm gonna have to get that because um, go with my uh, speedster collection that I'm trying to build up here so yeah all right and then a couple more from Midtown I'll show real quick here um, this is DC first Superman and the Flash um, so pretty much this was the first time that uh, Jay Garrick had ever raced Superman I mean it's kind of a big thing who's fast at Flash or Superman and previous previously uh, Barry had raced him, and I believe Wally too. Um, and there's a few issues, and I'd I'd like to eventually get the the first time that the Flash raced Superman, and the first time that uh, Wally was, or the first time Barry raced Superman, and the first time Wally raced Superman as well. Um, just to to have those, I like collecting those special speedster moments and uh, whatnot. Um, being a Flash guy. Uh, so, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. I'm looking forward to reading this and checking it out. But, yeah, kind of a cool comic they released just to have <laughs> just to have Jay Garrick and Superman race. <clears throat> but and the last one from Midtown is uh, the Flash TV special. So um, I've been watching this uh, Flash show that was made in the 90s. Um, and I've actually been really enjoying it, appreciating it for what it is. It's cheesy, it's corny, you know, it's all those things. It, was very, it seems very much influenced by, the, like, the Tim Burton era Batman movies. Um, and uh, it feels very much like that. But, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. And um, it was, I'm having a good time with the show. And so I decided, when I f saw that they had released a TV special edition of the flash i decided to pick it up and get, so i'll be giving that a read here at some point but yeah so that's kind of cool 
And then lastly, for the single issues, um, on eBay, I picked up this issue, this reprint, because I, I mean, yeah. I'll probably never have the original comic because of how much it goes for, but uh, um, unless I got it for an absurdly cheap price, which would never happen, unless somebody didn't know what they had. But it is a reprint of Showcase number four, um, which is the first appearance of Barry Allen um, as the Silver Age Flash. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to have a copy. Um, I, I mean, I probably won't really use this to read the story very much because I have the first, well, I have the four volumes of the Flash Chronicles that they released, and this is obviously in the first one. Um, so that's probably how I would read the story. But I just thought, I just wanted this for the collection because it's, um, it's cool. It's the first appearance of the Flash, so I wanted it in, uh, in an issue form. And um, yeah, so I picked this up for pretty cheap on eBay. But all right, now so we'll get into um, the collected editions, trade paperbacks, and hardcovers that I've picked up in March. Um, and we ended with Flash, so we'll start with Flash. This is Flash Volume 5, uh, part of the DC Universe Rebirth. Um, this is still, it's still uh, Joshua Williamson. He's still writing the book, which is great, because I've, I've been really enjoying his writing on The Flash. Um, the one thing that stinks is it's like every issue they're changing artists and there are some artists I really like and then there are some artists I don't like at all um, but so that that's that's an unfortunate thing about the series so far but um, but it's been good I, I I'm still really interested in seeing what happens and um, seeing where the story goes and uh, what other crazy shenanigans Flash can get up to. Next up, we got The Green Lantern Chronicles, Volume 1. I picked this up from Ollie's. Um, I still will stop there every once in a while because they have, see if they got any new books because they're so cheap. Um, I mean, this was only two ninety nine, so I, I saw I had to pick it up. I'm actually currently reading it. My bookmark's in here. But, uh, yeah, Green Lantern Chronicles, Volume 1. Not too far in it yet. I've only read, like, the first couple issues. Um, and it is what you'd expect. You know, it's a Silver Age comic, it, but uh, it's good stuff. I, I love going back and seeing the history of these characters and how they started and how far they've come and... Um, it's just, that's just something that's always interested me so um, being able to go back to these older issues and really um, see uh, see how much they've expanded since the time of their inception and creation uh, it's really cool, it's really interesting um, but yeah so there's that the next up we got Green Lantern, No Fear. Pr gonna go on a little Green Lantern kick here. Got a few Green Lantern books this month. Uh, this is the first volume after Green Lantern Rebirth when Jeff Johns um, brought back Hal Jordan. Um, I won't go in into all of these books, but uh, it's good stuff. I kind of read things out of order. I actually read Rebirth, then the Sinestro Core Wars, and then the Blackest Night, the, all, the entirety of the Blackest Night event, uh, and then Brightest Day. Um, and then I went back and read the filler, um, the, the volumes that happened in between that stuff. And definitely I feel like I read the best uh, that was uh, in that run. Um, this, this volume was just okay for me. Um, same with the next volume too. Revenge of the Green Lanterns. This is volume two. Surprisingly hard to find in trade or hardcover for um, a decent price. But I was fortunate enough to find a guy on eBay. That's where I got these two books. Uh, fortunate enough to find a guy there who was selling it for a really good price uh, compared to others. Like less than half the price I had seen other people trying to sell it for. So, But yeah, this volume was better, but... I definitely liked, um, yeah, I definitely liked like Rebirth and the Sinestro Core Wars. I mean, those were bigger event books. So there's a little more going on, but um, 
I definitely think that was the best, some of the best parts of John's run, at least so far that I've read. So there's still a few volumes I haven't read yet from uh, from the stuff that took place before in E52. Then another Green Lantern book, but this time in E52. Haven't read this one yet. Um, I think I got this on eBay as well, if I remember correctly. This is Revenge of the Black Hand. This is volume two of the New 52. Um, so, um, I haven't started it yet. I have volume one, but I wanted to wait until I got a few volumes in so I could just read them back to back without having to wait. John's still writing, um, so that's cool. But, uh, yeah. And then next up, more Green Lantern. I'll go a little quicker here. So this is volume four. Um, Robert Vendetti, Dark Days, um, and then <laughs> Green Lantern, Volume 6. So now I have Volumes uh, 1 through 6 of the New 52, so I'm going to start reading that probably here shortly, maybe after I read the Green Lantern Chronicles. Uh, I've been in a really uh, Green Lantern kick lately, so <laughs> if you can't tell. But... Uh, yeah, so there's there's all my Green Lantern books. And last two books I got here, these are some of my favorite pickups I was able to find um, for pretty decent prices. This one I got off of eBay. Like I said, I'm a sucker for crossovers between the companies. Um, and crossovers in general are always fun in my opinion. But this is DC Marvel Crossover Classics Volume 2. Um, and it just collects different uh, issues of where DC and Marvel characters cross over into each other's universes. Um, so real quick, I'll run down. So we got Batman the Punisher, Lake of Fire, and Punisher Batman, Deadly Knights, Silver Surfer and Superman, Pop, Batman, and Captain America. So we'll see how those are. And hopefully, hopefully they're pretty good and fun little stories. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I love this stuff. I don't know why. I just think it's fun. I know it can be cheesy and kind of corny and cheap at times, but I don't know. It's just fun for me. I like it. And, and I'm reading comics. It should be fun, right? It's not fun. What am I doing here? But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. That's interesting stuff, but definitely was happy when I was able to get this off eBay for a good price. And then next up, I got this from a local store. It's DC Marvel Crossover Classics Volume 4. I wasn't even looking for this. I just happened to see they had a small collection of trade paperbacks and hardcovers. It's actually the same store I got the Amalgam comic issue um, that I showed at the beginning. But this was only $5, and I was really shocked because it was going for like $20 to $30 on eBay when I looked um, after I picked this up. Uh, super happy to find this five bucks it's in great condition uh, but it just has more DC Marvel crossovers that happened won't show you that first page because somebody actually put a sticker in it with their address it's like the return label <laughs> but um, let's see so this doesn't have a let's see so this one collects Green Lantern, Silver Surfer, and I believe it's Kyle Rayner is the Green Lantern. Uh, Dark Side vs. Galactus, The Hunger, Batman and Spider-Man, which I'm looking forward to, and then Superman and Fantastic Four. So, should be some good ones. Good ones in here. But there's, yeah, that's Kyle. And the Silver Surfer. Yeah, looking forward to this one, too. Should be fun. <laughs> but, uh, show you some of the art here. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Like I said, I'm a sucker for crossovers, and especially between DC and Marvel. I love all that stuff. I'd love to get my hands on the uh, JLA Avengers crossover at some point. <clears throat> Keeping my eye out for those. But yeah, 
some cool stuff. But there it is. DC Marvel Crossover Classics Volume 4. Alright, so that does it for my haul. Um, quite a few pickups. Uh, haven't bought a lot of single issues um, until this past month. I've, I've been starting to get into that more and getting a lot of that stuff. And it's been, it's been a lot of fun uh, looking for that stuff. And um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, let me know if there's anything else I should keep my eye out on based on what you've seen here. If you think I'd like something else that you know of, uh, let me know. I love love hearing recommendations and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think. Um, also, like, subscribe if you can, if you want. If you've enjoyed this, go check out some of my other videos. Um, and yeah, we'll see you on the next video. So thanks for watching. Bye.